Today, I want to talk to you a little bit about earnest money. If you're out buying a home and you're filling out a purchase agreement with your agent, there's going to be a question that comes up about earnest money. And I just want to explain a little bit how that works and what that is. Earnest money is, I would think of it as a, like a good faith deposit. Uh, you're going to put this down and you're going to specify an amount. There's no real set amount. It's really uh, based on the conversation that you and your agent have on what amount you want to put for earnest money. But earnest money is the good faith deposit that will be held by one of the brokers. It can be held by the listing broker or the uh, buyer side broker. It will be deposited into a escrow account at that brokerage. So yes, the check will be cashed. That is a question we get a lot. It'll be deposited and nobody messes with that money um, until there's either a, uh, a breakup, what I call it in a contract, a mutual release, or we close. So, so the, the earnest money 90% of the time is refundable as long as the buyer proceeds and does everything they're supposed to do within uh, what they've agreed upon within the purchase agreement. Uh, usually it will come back to either the lender or the buyer at closing, depending on how the loan officer sets that up. Now, there are reasons that you could lose your deposit. If you don't follow through and perform on all parts of the contract that you are uh, have agreed to as a buyer, you could uh, lose that deposit. So one of them may be, you know, I usually tell my clients 90% of the time we're going to be able to get that money back because you'll have a contingency on a home inspection. Maybe there was more repairs there uh, than we thought and it's just not the right house for you. We would submit a mutual release asking for that money back. Now, one of the ways you wouldn't get your money back, and I've seen this happen, is say you put down $5,000 with earnest money. And for some reason, you just decide that uh, you don't want to close. You don't want to buy the house no more. And it's not uh, a part of a contingency that gives you the out, right? You just wake up one day and you say, I don't want the house no more. The seller has a right to uh, claim that earnest money or to ask for it. A lot of times we negotiate that out between buyer and seller to see what, you know, maybe they're going to get half of it back. Maybe they get all of it back. Uh, maybe they get none of it back. Maybe the seller keeping it all. Uh, but so that's very negotiable. But when you sit down with a contract, you can expect to put down some earnest money. You know, I've seen anywhere from $1,000 to $50,000. Uh, generally, it's more on the lower side of that, right? But this is your good faith money to just basically saying, I'm going to put some money on the table saying that I will perform as I have uh, contracted with you in this purchase agreement. For more local up-to-date real estate information, like and subscribe to the Jeremy Ward Team YouTube channel.